Zuma has been fined £250,000 for kicking a cat. Now, I've got to go easy here. I'm from round Essex, West Ham area. I've got a lot of friends and cousins that are firmed up. But I have to say, finally, West Ham have won something, being a bastard to an animal. Congratulations! What the actual fuck? How bored do you have to be when you're earning X zillion pounds a week to think, I know what I'm gonna do, end my career in England where we literally worship animals more than humans by kicking a fucking cat in the head. Pussy! Literally pussy doing that. Le shit, le shit. Uh, I mean, a lot of people, the first thing I've heard is this. Oh yeah, well are you vegetarian then? Are you vegetarian or vegan? If you're not vegetarian or vegan, then pipe down. You can't say anything because you're eating meat. What are you talking about, you psychotic, serial killer, psychopathic twat? What are you talking about? I make a distinction between senselessly and maliciously beating a domesticated animal, reared as a pet, and farming. Do you know why I make that distinction? Because I'm not a silly cunt. Well, I don't make that distinction. To me, killing something for pleasure with a look of glee in your eyes is the same as needing to do something for sustenance or anything that's part of an economy. Is it really? Remind me not to stay at your house in case you harvest the kidneys out of my back because you class it the same as a massage, you twat. That aside, Zuma. What an absolute spunk bubble, animal cruelty, small on the inside, midget man, shrunk acorn cock, probably injecting steroids, gets his cousin to wee in a cup and test that instead. Loser of a man, kicking a cat. My favorite animal. I, you gotta be careful. Some, someone like Boris will see this, he'll think it's a good idea. Fwah, great idea. In fact, I think we should bring back fox hunting, but put the fox on the pitch. Actually, fox, fox kicking. Toffs will enjoy that. Come on, let's do keepy uppy with a fox and a badger. One, two, on my head. Fwah. Go on, Cameron, you stick your cock in it. Let's have a celebrity match with different animals we want to kick about the pit. Maybe that's a solution for England's penalty crisis. Maybe that's why France is better at penalties than England. They practice with pets. Once you've kicked a fucking dash hound in the face whilst the crowd are cheering, I suppose a football's easy. Why not fucking volley a gerbil over the fence? Maybe that'll fix the penalty crisis. Yeah, I did miss penalties last season, but I spent all seasons stamping on hamsters. And I got a Scottish fold cat and I kicked it so hard that its bent down ears went upwards. So lumping a football past the Italian keeper was fucking nothing. Maybe animal cruelty is the solution. Maybe that's what Zuma was thinking. What should we do for punishment? Well, he's been fined 250 grand. What's that? He probably gets that for knocking one out during a three-way in the travel lodge with Tracy he just met in Leeds. Here, do it on my face. And then put the one that was in defence. I want images on my face at the same time. And have the goalie fucking put his chips on my back. I want to feel all the hot vinegar over my Chinese mysticism symbol. 250 grand ain't jack shit to him. Let's do a proper punishment. This is my proposed punishment. Number one, he's obviously got too much testosterone. Let's get him neutered. Many a vet, with the help of the RSPCA, will volunteer to get him neutered. He can wear one of those collars when he's on the pitch. So he can't lick his stitches. And number two, and this is the one I really think should happen. Apart from the fine and a criminal record for animal cruelty, he should be forced to bury his own shit like a cat in front of us during half time. Dig a hole, poo in it, bury it. And if that doesn't work, fucking kick it. Kick the shit off the pitch. Kick it like you kick the cat, you fucking spunk bubble. I love cats. Why are you being horrible to cats for? Just be nice to animals. Ooh, they've got a bum like a pencil sharpener. <laughs>